my name is Carly Oakley and I'm the manager for the sea turtle nesting team. And what I'm actually doing is finishing up our evaluation of the nests that we lost throughout Hurricane Debbie. Some of the impacts that we do see through tropical storms and hurricanes include coastal flooding and storm surge. So in this last storm surge, we did see two to four feet. That unfortunately did cause a lot of our beaches to flood. When this happens, it can drown out our eggs and also suck the nest back out into the ocean. The tropical storm that then became Hurricane Debbie did cause us to lose around 70% of our nests that were left on the beach. Of the nests that were left, we were able to reestablish them and we will continue to monitor them until they hatch and through October 31st to make sure if something did make it through that we'll be there and able to respond to those hatch outs. And able to reestablish a nest, we do take certain measurements such as GPS and other biometric data that allows us to be able to relocate a nest if it does get damaged or we lose the stakes in a tropical storm or a hurricane. If we do have a nest that unfortunately has a weather event on it and it does not hatch after its expected incubation period, we will go ahead and go in and attempt an inventory to see if there's any contents left inside of the nest. So after a storm goes through, we do see increased wave activity, which can cause our hatchlings to wash back. We have been actively recovering many hatchlings that have been washed back and bringing them to CMA to be evaluated by a veterinary staff. Once they are under our rehabilitation team's care, they will then monitor and feed them. Once the gulf waters have come down and are suitable, we will then take them out towards the sargasm line and release them in the water. In the case that you do find a hatchling, whether it be live or deceased, or an egg on the beach, we do ask that you do not interact with those animals or those items, and instead call our local emergency hotline, which is the phone number to the aquarium, and the extension number is one, Someone on our team is on call 24-7 and we will come out and collect that hatchling or that egg from you. Although we have lost the majority of our nests through the tropical storm, we already had some nests successfully hatch out before the storm and we also have nests that are still on the beach and we are hopeful for those to hatch out as well.